so disappointed and really insulted. I'm a Howard alum and that she didn't have the decency to walk out and say something. To exactly. And that's what I said. Because at the end of the day, you're supposed to have two speeches, a win speech and a law speech. And at the end of the day, you're still supposed to show out for your people. Like, you got to speak to our daughters, our cousins, our, our, come on, nephews too, the fuck? You got to speak to us. You literally didn't say nothing. I was, I waited up all night to hear the speech. I wanted to hear, listen, it's okay if you lose one, but you can still fight. I wanted to hear, keep going. How you not going to show up? Girl, I drove from, you know what, let me not, because how you not going to show up? Talking about, she going to say something today. Today ain't yesterday. Today, we didn't even know we was going to make it to today. To her, you know, to her university, make a comment to the United States. Things were not looking well for her. It Damn, YouTube. Usually my energy be lit, yo, but I ain't going to hold you. You clicked the title, you read the page, so I'm going to just get to the point. She lost, gang. And I can't even say she lost, because to say that she lost, to me, is selfish, because it's bigger than her. This shit bigger than Nino Brown. We lost. We lost as a whole, as a unit, all right? Now, um, I'm sure by now you guys already know what happened. You know, um, Camilla lost. It's unfortunate. It was my first time ever, 32 years old. It was my first time ever voting. And it was for a woman. So I'm super excited. Um, I was going to put a race behind it, but I don't got time for all of that technicalities. So um, it was it was excited that I voted for a woman. Um, a lot of people was asking me, so you didn't vote for Hillary? Um, no, I didn't. It, uh, mainly because I wasn't sure where Hillary was going with it, and as we see how that played out. Um, let's get to this video. Shout out to Sky News. Shout out to the lads. Like I was looking for a video to react to that I could speak about the presidential election, and I was like, the lads is talking about this, like. Lads, what y'all know about what we got going on here? It's ghetto, right? It's a little ghetto. I ain't gonna hold you. Let's get into it, man. Oh, and I want to say this too. I'm mad that Camilla didn't come out and speak. I didn't like. I ain't like that. Like, I get it. You lost. A loss is a loss. But at the same time, you still had that support. You didn't lose that support. So for you to not come out and speak that specific night, talking about she gonna speak today, girl. It was yesterday. What you mean? Let's get into it. Let's cross now to Barbara Heineback, former Democrat White House staffer, joining us live from Brisbane. Barbara, do you feel any disappointment that Kamala Harris hasn't been oh able to God. become the first <laughs> um, woman of colour and first woman to be elected to the presidency? You see how they got to say the first woman, woman of colour. It's like, we don't know. That's what I'm saying. Let's, let's just leave that out. You know, I just I was just happy that she was a woman. I am so disappointed and really insulted. I'm a Howard alum and that she didn't have the decency to walk out and say something. Exactly. And that's what I said. Because at the end of the day, you're supposed to have two speeches, a win speech and a law speech. And at the end of the day, you're still supposed to show out for your people. Like, you got to speak to our daughters, our cousins, our, our, come on, nephews too, the fuck? You got to speak to us. You literally didn't say nothing. I was, I waited up all night to hear the speech. I wanted to hear, listen, it's okay if you lose one, but you can still fight. I wanted to hear, keep going. How you not going to show up? Girl, I drove from, you know what, let me not, because how you not going to show up? Talking about, she going to say something today. Today ain't yesterday. Today, we didn't even know we was going to make it to today. To her, you know, to her university, make a comment to the United States. Things were not looking well for her. It wasn't completely over, but short of a miracle, we knew which way this was going. And that she didn't have some grace. I mean, it, it shows us how classless she actually is. A sore loser. Okay, I'll, okay, now. Okay, now, miss. I don't know about classless, all right? Sore loser, maybe. But classless? Y'all be saying a little bit too much when y'all speak about this woman. Now, don't get me wrong. Y'all know I got a love-hate relationship with her. But classless? This doesn't define classless. Having Megan twerk at the rally. Now, that was classless. Having Megan twerk at the rally. Now, that was classless. 
But I feel like this just shows sore loser. I don't, I don't think classless. Y'all drop a comment. Tell me what you think. And even though it's painful for her, for the Democrats, I think America might be relieved at recognizing and realizing they don't have to put up with this any longer. And if this is what they were walking into, maybe it's better that it gets, you know, cut at the nip right now. Well, but, she, um, she's such me, a poor I'm candidate, Barbara. <laughs> yeah. She's such a poor candidate. Of course, she was a pr surprise pick uh, for vice president as the running mate for Joe Biden, but he said he was going to pick a woman of colour and she got the gig. She's never won an election. Of I'm screaming. Yo, Australia talking hot. Talk about, he said he was going to pick a woman of color, so she got the gig. Like, damn, you saying he he just picked a red, like, she didn't really qualify? It just was the first random, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, they talking crazy. Of any substance, this would have been the first one if she did, didn't get a vote when she mm -hmm. contested the primaries. Uh, why do you think uh, she's failed? What was the biggest mistake of the Democrats? I'm going to tell y'all right now. I'm going to tell y'all why she failed it has nothing to do with her she failed all from self-hate you niggas not even niggas you fuckers secretly hate yourself so bad that you love hate when it comes from other people because it's all too familiar donald trump's hate drives you guys because you guys secretly hate your damn self you guys hate your mom for whatever reason you hate your dad you hate the world you're just mad you hate gays like we did something to you you hate every goddamn thing when really and truly you mainly hate yourself this is a you thing this ain't got nothing to do with us camilla donald trump not you guys hate your damn self that's what it is you hate yourself that's why she failed because even as women you should have voted for her just because she was a female. I'm going to say that right now. Because you had men not voting for her because she was a female. So as a female, you should have voted for her because you're a female. That's your bare minimum. Let's not talk about all the shit that she had planned for us. When you watch, put it like this, right? This facts. When you watch Family Feud, when you used to watch Family Feud, if you still watch it, whatever. The moment Family Feud come on, it's usually a black family and a white family. I don't know why it's like that, but it's usually like that. Not all the time, but it's usually like that. The first thing you say as a white person, I'm rooting for the white people. The first thing you say as a black person, I'm rooting for the black people. Now, as the game continues to go on, if the black people ain't saying shit that makes sense, you might tend to go on that side. And that's understandable. But you see how you first go with you, with what you identify with, identify as? Y'all couldn't even just give her the bare minimum women. And I'm not saying it's all my women. I'm just saying the women that didn't vote for her. Damn. The correct campaign. The biggest mistake was her not selecting Shapiro. I mean, she had an ace, you know, an ace in the hole, and she didn't take that. Shapiro is so well respected, liked. He's doing an incredible job in Pennsylvania. And the yeah, I was mad she lost PA. The reason she didn't take it is another part of that personality that, you know, eked through. She is so completely insecure that she could not have someone that I hate how, well how was she insecure right around her to upstage her and outshine her and so this is why she didn't select him I'm pretty sure she made a lot of mistakes by bringing on all of Hollywood and Beyonce and all yeah. of these people but they always do that Beyonce wasn't very happy they well, always do that. Beyonce wasn't happy. Yeah, it's it's pathetic. Mm -hmm. Now, now you know the Democrats. You're connected to them. You've worked in the White House for Democrat president. So tell us what they're going to go through in coming days. They may lose the House and the Senate as well. They may have gone backwards yeah. in the House and, and lose the Senate. Um, a, a very, very dark mm -hmm. uh, day for the Democrats. Do you expect them to learn? Do you expect serious recriminations? Um. One of the things I noticed is, that, or I really believe is going to happen, is that, you know, oh, we have to remember that Obama and Michelle 
did not come out to endorse her for about more than a week, about 10 days after all of the other elite Democrats did, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, all of the others. But I like Nancy. Shout out Nancy. I be seeing her name. She be doing good things. Now, let me know if I'm wrong. But every time I be seeing Nancy, it be some good stuff going on. They didn't come out. And Obama really wanted to have a proper, you know, go through the process of the primary and everything. Let the Democratic National Committee choose and select who they really wanted for a candidate. Obama has been telling people all along before she became vice president not to do this and not to jump to that. Willie Brown as well, who you know, the, who had been the mayor of San Francisco, said give her a position somewhere, but not VP. Not so VP. people closer to her knew what was, um, you know, coming. Damn, Obama said that? Was, see, that means, it, all that means is she probably wasn't ready yet. Coming on, and so she... I mean, but I'd rather somebody that's not ready yet than somebody that's a convicted felon, I'm just saying. She, they didn't listen to that. The Congress... I don't know which way it's going to go, but I think that um, if we have a couple more Republicans in the Senate to carry us through these next four years, but I think it's going to be easier for Trump than yep. it was, you know, back in 2016. It could well be. He could be a much more powerful president than he was last time around. Thanks for joining us, Barbara. A much more powerful president? A much more, he, yo, bro, he had them folks acting crazy at the Capitol and all type of shit. A much more, this is too much. This is too much.